Do you struggle with finding veins or fear missing your IV insertions on patients? Today, I'll show you how to insert an IV line confidently, step by step, using clear visuals and tips that actually work. Why IV insertion is important. Used for fluids, medications, blood products. Confidence in IV insertion reduces patient anxiety and improves care. Equipment you will need. Number 1. IV cannula. Number 2. Tourniquet. Number 3. Alcohol swab. Number 4. Sterile gloves. Number 5. Tape or tegaderm to secure. Number 6. Optional IV fluids. Number 7. Sharps container to dispose of sharps. Now let's go on to the step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1. Hand hygiene and PPE. Wash hands, wear gloves using aseptic technique and gloving. Step 2. Patient preparation and consent. Explain the procedure to the patient. Step 3. Apply tourniquet and select vein. Tips for finding veins. Warm compress, gravity, patient clenching fist. Step 4. Clean the area. Alcohol or chlorhexidine swab. Step 5. Insert the cannula. Bevel up, 10 to 30 degree angle, advance until flashback. Step 6. Advance catheter, remove needle. Slide catheter in, retract needle safely. Step 7. Secure and flush. Secure with tegaderm or tape, flush with saline. Step 8. Dispose of sharps. Immediately in sharps container. Common mistakes to avoid when performing IV cannulation. Inserting at too steep an angle. Not anchoring the vein. Not checking for flashback before advancing. Forgetting to flush. Poor patient positioning. Tips for success. Use good lighting. Stay calm. Practice on mannequins if needed. Vein finding tips, use warm compress, gravity. IV insertion doesn't have to be scary. With practice, you'll insert IV lines confidently every time. If you want a step-by-step -step printable guide, check out my IV ebook in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your biggest struggle with IV insertion.